For more than a century, riders have thrown themselves at the mercy of the Tour of Flanders. They've tested themselves against the roughest of cobbles, the steepest of climbs, the most determined of opponents. This year's edition of De Ronde promises to be no different, and as we prepare for its arrival on the 6th of April, we take a look back at the races that went before, the races that made it the monument that it is today. It was a newspaper publicity stunt for 37 riders in 1913, but every edition since then has been recorded here at the Centrum Ronde van Vlaanderen, and every piece has its story. In the 1930s, competitors had been sent out of the velodromes and onto the cobbles when floors were sold for wood in World War I. And legends of the sport began to join their ranks, lured by its slot just a week ahead of the already prominent Paris-Roubaix. The Tour of Flanders soon built its own legends. In 1943, Achille Boisse became the first man to win the Tour three times. A year later, watch smuggler Rick van Steenbergen made his victory an historic one, becoming the youngest champion at 19 years of age. Into the 50s, the Belgian stranglehold on the Flemish race was loosening. Fiorenzo Magni proved that Italians could be just at home on the Hellingen, equaling Goose's three-win record. After that, multiple Tour de France champion Luisson Bobet became the first Frenchman to win, as the climbs became an integral part of the Ronde route. In 1961, Tom Simpson turned the bad weather to his advantage. The Englishman powered across an unmarked line after the Finnish banner blew down, beating an unaware Nino de Filippis. In the late 60s, all expectation lay on local hero Eddie Merckx. But by his stratospheric standards, he never dominated his home classic. That's despite taking his first Ronde win with a 70-kilometer solo ride. It will be another six years before Merckx found glory at Flanders again. And by that time, a new legend had emerged. Eric Le Mans won three races in four years. His last welcomed by the crowds at Merbeke, a town that would go on to host the finish on 37 more occasions. The Koppenberger would also become an icon of the race, its status confirmed in its first year when even Merckx had to dismount on its treacherous 22% incline. Koppenberg would continue to be decisive. Roger de Vlamink stole a controversial win from Freddie Martins after the latter was disqualified for a bike change after the climb. There was a brief Dutch ascendancy in the Ronde into the 80s. Riders from the Netherlands recorded five wins in eight years. But arguably the most testing Ronde yet came in 1985. In the wind and rain, only Phil Anderson and Jan Raas fought their way up the Kopperberg by bike. Of the 173 starters, only 24 ever made it to the finish line. The Paterberg's asphalt was dug up and replaced with cobbles for its inaugural race a year later. But on the cobbles of the Koppenberg in 1987, a tumble almost turned to tragedy. The race director's car narrowly missed rider Jesper Skibby, an incident that banned the climb until a renovation in 2002. Despite Edwin van Hooydonk's two wins going into the 90s, the decade was dominated by one name. Johan Musel joined the list of all-time great one-day racers with eight podiums, including three wins and 11 starts. 
His efforts gained him the name the Lion of Flanders. While Stain de Valdor had his moments, the tour since 2000 has been about arguably two of the greatest ever classic specialists, Fabian Cancellara and Tom Bonin. Bonin won the Ronde twice before he was 26 years old. The Belgian has also won the Tour of Flanders Paris-Roubaix double twice, but so has his nearest rival Cancellara, whose powerful showings on the Moor and Paterberg have become his signature. Alternating injuries and accidents have prevented recent head-to-heads, but this year, while Cancellara lines up to equal the record of three Ronde victories, a fourth win for Bonin would make him the most successful Flanders rider of all time. 101 years of Tour of Flanders history, but this year, all of that could be rewritten.